It is now down to the final day before the release of chapter 12. Now this is the minute or this is the, the hours which matters because this is the final 24 hours before the chapter release. And I know a lot of people are excited. I know a lot of people are sad because this is officially the end of this game. And we're not going to get any more updates except if you don't count uh, build mode updates and battle pass updates. I think battle pass is going to still continue, but whatever. So, yes, today's video we're going to be trying to predict what is going to happen in the chapter 12 ending. So, let me just clear out some stuff. Now, since Minijun said there's going to be four different endings, bad, good, good survivor ending, good savior ending, bad survivor ending, bad savior ending. And one true ending, which is canon for everything, no matter if you're survivor or savior. So, we're, not gonna, we're gonna be taking the equations of survivor, savior, bad, good, and everything out of the equation itself. Because today we're gonna be just talking about a casual ending. A casual ending. What a casual ending will be. Now, I am cur currently talking about a good ending perspective because that's a casual ending in my opinion. And I don't know what you ask by casual ending. But in my opinion, the good ending is a casual ending, like a normal ending. So, without any further ado, subscribe. There's literally one day I have lost hope of hitting 160 subscribers. But whatever, let's get right into the video. First of all, let's talk about what can happen in the ending. One, uh, this is pretty obvious that we are gonna have to save someone. And those someone can be from any one of the options that I'm gonna be telling in a while. But before anything, there's a few questions that I have to be cleaning up. So first of all, we're gonna have to just think about it. Who are the possible characters which we can save? Now, obviously the first character in mind is gonna be Zizzy. Second character in mind is gonna be William. Now these are the two main characters that most things are in on category on. Because without William, there is pretty much no book two the entire story would have ended in chapter 12, chapter 6 of book 2. This could have been all, this is it. Th that could have been it on chapter 6. Unless, or if Willow didn't want to find her brother, the entire storyline would have ended at chapter 6. So, William is one main character in the book. This is the whole reason my book 2 even started. So, there's two characters out of the way. Third, I think we're going to be going for the main character of Piggy itself, the reason which everything started, Shadow Penny. Now, three of these people are related somehow. First, Zizzy. Yeah, come on, let's just be obvious. It's Zizzy. No one like. I mean, everyone likes Zizzy. Yeah, totally. I, it's not like I totally hate Zizzy. Like, it, it, I don't... It's, whatever. Next up, we have William. The little sister. The reason book two even existed. I think William wouldn't have been infected. It's a child, dude. It's a literal child. Depends on the ending because I would like to see the children character grown up in inner city. So we'll talk about m more about that. Next up, Shadow Penny. Now, if we don't cure Shadow Penny, I don't know what we're going to be doing because if Shadow Penny is going to go out of control, the world is going down perhaps because. All of this happened just because of Shadow Penny and Tio and stuff like that. So, Tio has Dude Man, which was the uh, original name, the, oh, in, the Insolence Overseer, which was Tio. But, yes, this is it, the final predictions that we can do. So, let's just be honest, everyone's going to be Chase saving Jizzy because, yes, the, the, she's the main character of everything, pretty much. But, no, I, I wouldn't be saving Jizzy because I just... It, 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 I don't want to be on with the crowd because it's just too obvious that everyone's going to be chasing Zizzy or voting for Zizzy to be safe. But I don't want to. I want like a different ending. Maybe I'll save William. Maybe I'll save someone else. But that is pretty much what I'm predicting will happen. Now, now let's talk about the endings. Bad ending. I have a very, very cool theory for the bad ending. Now... If you guys remember, back when chapter 11 released, the first chapter 11 from book one, after that we had the, everyone knows it, distorted memory. 
where the ending was supposedly George's nightmare. Or Joji's nightmare. I don't want to get copyrighted, even though I can't. But Georgie's nightmare showed that he was infected. Now, what's the point of pointing out a nightmare when it is just a nightmare and it's not real? Yep, you guessed it right. I think the bad ending is going to be George getting or turning infected and RKOing us out of nowhere. By RKOing me, I mean by just killing all of us. Meaning that George's final identity is going to be revealed at the bad end, in the bad ending. Which would be a very, very cool throwback. If this happens, you know who to credit. Me, me, definitely me. I, I, I'm the first person to come, with this, come up with this theory. So, yes. That is what I think will happen in the bad ending prediction. But I seriously cannot predict what will happen in the true ending. Because true ending is true ending. And I can't judge true ending because it's true ending. So, yes. That is what I think about this entire ending thingamajig, this, uh, the, the, the contemplation, the, the complications and stuff, stuff like that. So, yes. Your theories are more than welcome in the comments because it's just 24 hours left. So, go ahead, spam your theories down below. Just don't spam like A's and stuff. But whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe. I've given hope on Milestone before Chapter 12 releases. But whatever. I don't even care. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next channel. So, please leave a like.